What up, people? Here we are again. We are uh, doing a little Napoleonic action. I'm playing the Austrians again. And I'm up against the French. A smaller battle than the last couple. Um, this one's happening up in the northern area, closer to where my better troops are. Um, up, uh, you know, fighting for Paris, because the French are more interested in Venice, apparently. Um, but, uh, yeah, we have a little fight here. I have a very good general and some mm, slightly dinged units, um, but a, a very, a very experienced gun, uh, if half a gun, anyway. But uh, going up against uh, looks like fresh troops out of Paris, maybe. Um, I'm going to. Uh, Try to take them to the hole, as the saying goes. All right. Um, let's do this. I'm hoping that my guys don't get too hurt in this fight, but um, a little bit concerned uh, that pretty much no matter what I do, I'm, I'm going to get hurt unless I'm uh, shooting the snot out of them with my cannon. Uh, that's possible. Uh, pretty flat. The high point. Hi guys, don't mind me, just passing through. Oh, looks like it's actually pretty close to the high point. Put it there. Unlimber the gun and hope that I don't end up just shooting into the hill. Kind of looks like I'm gunning. See, look at that. I'm going to shoot right into this hill. What the heck good is that? Alright, let's try setting up over here. I'm hoping that works. So the French army is on this side of this slope. I'll try to stay on that side too. I only have one cavalry unit and it's small. I'll put it over there. Let's see what we got here. I'll put my infantry in the woods because why not? Trying to position them just perfectly. All right, I think that's good enough. All right. General. That's General Mack, right? Yeah. This guy I'm going to put on the other side of the hill. Just for kicks. All right. I notice my gun's not shooting. I need you to shoot. If nothing else, then to tell me that you're shooting into the earth. Oh, that's not bad. I think I'd have to get real lucky to hit those guys. So that probably won't happen. Thank you. 
I don't know what you're shooting at. Looks to me like you're shooting at your own troops. Uh, I think that was my shot. Hey. I am satisfied to sit here for a while, a good while, and just shoot at your guys while you shoot at this building. That's what you're doing. You're blowing the snot out of this building. Well, that'd be fun to watch too. Oh, I killed their leader. <laughs> what a shot. Oh, thanks for playing. Enemy general killed. That's great. So now that I killed the guy, now they move back. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is a tough way to play catch, man. Cannonball in the face. I don't, don't know if I'll be able to hit anybody else, but... I have time to try. not coming. Usually are. A lot of times when the enemy doesn't have, when the AI doesn't have a general, they don't fight so smart. Um, or as smart. Um, so I, I, I have thought that their cavalry were going to come charging just because they're tired of being shot at. They've lost seven guys and their leader to my can to my area effect cannon fire. But I don't think I think they're too far out of range. It's possible that I'll snake another couple guys. As the cavalry are ones that really kind of... Oh, what? They're able to target my gun. Well, that's trouble. I think I have to move. Um, okay. Well, let's do this. the wind that I've wiped out their, their general in these early on in the early goings here it's a pretty big deal I don't know why you need to go to the top of the hill before you come over here to the side where I want you Please don't just show up so that you can get shot by cannon. Appreciate that. And I'm curious. 
curious if this gun here is going to shoot my guys. I think it's lined up enough. So long as I keep shooting over here. Fortunately, what is it, a three-pounder? Yeah, freaking, freaking three-pounder. Unlimber the damn thing, put it on a higher hill closer. Which hill is closer? Which hill is higher? This one, I think. gun up at the top of that hill and that should build a range on everybody over there then they'll probably come out which would be irritating because you know, I've all moved all close and everything but uh, it's not something I thought about at the time but I kind of Neglected the fact that I have a three pounder, which is a pretty terrible gun. I mean, it's a high quality gun. It has been through a lot and it's gained all these rankings and these, these red acc accolades on the side of the unit there. But, uh, bunch of French in here too. Pretty sure they're in there and not anywhere else. gun correctly. They're targeting it. So that means we're going to be shot at. But frankly, if I only have one gun, then it's not all that valuable. Except, of course, that it's a very high ranked. Please fire. Fire your gun. You're close enough now you should be auto auto selecting the enemy. They can target me, but I can't target them. That's cheating. These guys are going to go in this building because of the, the French haven't. <laughs> do, do, do. I take this defensive advantage right here because you're refusing to. Oh, he 
area. Uh-huh, here come the cavalry. Which way are they going? get this guy wrecked, but that guy got all shot up. rallied, but they're half strength now. Guys, form up. You can do it. Form up. Please form up. See, when I asked you to form up, that means form square. It causes extra damage to you when you don't form square. You're under artillery attack. Got their Austrian Hussars, 48 of them. Not a very big unit, but it's good enough to take out that gun and maybe make these guys freak out. I 
And go. Run. Appreciate you trying to walk through your route. A rock through your charge. Gunfire guys. See now my cannon is starting to hit my own guys. Gonna go without. We're in the last seven guys. Yeah, I'd be concerned too. Uh, just over fifty percent strength. Totally surrounded by Austrians. Although for some reason they've kind of stopped shooting at you. Alright. And that is that. that I lose. Let's see. I went in with 1160. I lost 288. 874. That's doable. I left them with like 28 cavalry. I think I can survive that. These guys will go there so they can heal. Heal and maybe protect these areas from intrusion. And if this guy swings over there to hit him. Right. Are any of these guys any better? This guy is pretty strong. Right? Uh, this guy is not bad. Delighted about that. Although, frankly, this army should be more concerned with this. But you do you. Finally, going to bring these guys up. Reducing the defense because I 
that Russian army is still there. And Lord knows, no, no French army is going to go attack the Russians. Just not going to happen. All right, the rest of these guys were moved last turn. All right, go here. I'll get schooling next round. How about that? I'm gonna check my lists. Make sure my one, <laughs> one fleet still pumping away. Trading with Egypt, if I remember rightly. Uh, these guys aren't gonna move. Yeah, they're not gonna move. I have. Yeah, those guys aren't gonna move. I have two guys there. That's okay. All right. Um, uh, so I need to check these guys again. I don't think so. I don't recall if any of these guys improved over the time. They're not any better than what I have. Alright, this guy, yeah, not better. Okay. I never have actually considered victory conditions. Looks like the Austins actually have it pretty hard. Yeah, not only do they have to take Paris, but they also have to take Northern Italy. Piedmont, so Paris, not nearly, and Piedmont I have, I think, uh, I think, no, Piedmont, I have to take two sections of Northern Italy and then Paris, so I should take Paris last, because that's the hardest. So that's why, maybe that's why he's fighting so hard for Northern Italy. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. It seems that they're, they're just playing a game here in, in the West. A real, a real effort is, is, uh, I haven't built that road yet. Wow. A real effort is, Um, in the south, uh, that's right. Yeah, total chaff. All right, that's good enough. All right, spent the money. Uh, let's see what kinds of surprises they come up with. See what Napoleon does. I know he's waiting in the south. What? But there's a Russian army there. There's a Russian army there. How can you threaten Innsbruck? It's like he went up there and laid siege to it. Public schooling. He laid siege to it and then saw, oh, Russians, backed off. I built some guys in Austria. I built, oh, good. My universities are getting better. And then Jill School in Zagreb. All right. Yeah, I kind of think they're just fooling around over here. I mean, Paris is open. Is is Paris really open? Like, there's nobody there? No, okay. There's an actual army there. An army with no general, just a dude. So it would fall if I can't if I went over there. And I, I kind of think they want me to bizarre that any French general would ever want the Austrians to go and conquer Paris. But I, I know it's hard to hold. 
and it will take uh, damn it'll take a lot of effort to hold Paris but frankly I'm there's a lot of guys up here without much of a job. Strasbourg. Uh, see, taking Paris prevents the French from doing a lot. And so there is a, a reason to do it, especially if they're going to fight over <laughs> Innsbruck. I mean, get behind my lines and all that jazz, but um, by definition, by definition, I am well behind your lines. See, that's Napoleon and Brune in one spot. They combined armies. Oh, how very nice for you. And uh, this guy, Mortier, is there. And then, of course, the Northern Italian. How does one take this spot? as a victory condition. And they have one, two, three, four full stacked armies there. I don't know. But as I keep bringing guys over here, the real question will be is if I take Paris, are French still just going to hold on to Northern Italy? That is an interesting question, I think. Uh, the Turks are still down there, so I'm building more guys here, right? Oh, only two. Uh, I have a bunch of money, so how about if I build a bunch of stuff? I kill, could build that ridiculous unit. It's only one unit, and it takes eight turns to make. I can make dragoons. Three units of dragoons. Okay. Uh, they're not very good though. Dragoons are much better. Uh, so I made one. I don't want to make them. They're not very good. I just said that. Okay, I can't make any more grenadiers, apparently. I've made too many. So I'm just going to pile guys. Pile quality units coming out of Vienna. I'm going to have guys all over the place. I don't just when all those guys do burp I just I don't know how Austria is gonna afford it and that might be my next my next big problem all right I think we mix in the grenadiers uh, take out these less train troops one two three all right we have a lot of untrained troops in here all right so do these guys Go and pursue her up here. Just the kicks. 
Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, now these guys are totally untrained, so I'm going to bring them up. You may attack my untrained guys. If you want. Bring one of your armies over. Or bring this guy down. I don't know what he's going to do. This Russian army's right here. I'm, I don't, I really don't know what's going to happen. It is kind of nutty to think about. Uh, I'm not so concerned if he runs around in my backyard. I'm going to bring up a general and crush him. Alright, now we're back to my first decision. To sack Paris or not. I get an absolute buttload of money if I sack Paris. That's it's the same unit. Yep. I think I have to go sack Paris right now. Sorry. What time is it? 11.30. I'm an old man. I haven't done all that much this game, but I'm feeling tired, so I'm going to call it done. I'll save Paris for next next session, but I will. Uh, I will give the. I mean, look at all these red flags. These guys are experienced, and my best general. And oh, what? Only three guns? I thought he had four guns. Ah, it's okay. I'm going to sack Paris. Oh, what? How does that guy way the hell over there get involved in this fight? <sighs> I'm still going to win. But I get to be irritated. One, two, three more units of cavalry are going to come out of nowhere when I'm fully established and hit me. But, but it's actually a good thing that they don't actually have very much cavalry when they do attack and they have no general. They got some grenadiers and some guards, it looks like. Guard skirmishers. Yeah. Some elite infantry, but... I got my boys. I don't see I don't see how they uh turn that back. Although this is cheating that you can suck this army in from that far away. That they can rush back to the sound of the guns. Something that distinctly did not happen. And anyways This is Jomo Rising, signing off.